Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about three library functions which are ftl, rewind and fseek. These library functions are generally used during file handling in C programming language. So let's begin. Now, first of all, let's suppose the file exists with the name abc.txt. Okay, and the content are hi, space and wiki. Okay, and now one thing to remember here is that the content are indexed with some number. For example, the index for h is 0, index for i is 1, index for space is 2, then this is 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, just like the array of characters, right, or strings. Now, first of all, let's say we have created the file pointer and we had open our file in the read mode okay so abc.txt and r right now let's create a variable int lp okay now if i do here lp equals to f tell and pass it fp then it will tell me the current location of the file pointer now we already know that when the file is open it in the read mode it is going to to be pointing at the starting of the file okay so currently this fp pointer is pointing to this location okay so now if i write here printf percent d and i'll write here lp then it will give me output as zero okay because fp currently is pointing to the starting of the file which means at the zeroth location so here it will give me output as zero okay now let's say that i read a file or character f get c and i'll write here f p right and i'll assigning it with to ch okay so there is a character variable also right so now we know that f get c is going to read the character and return that character and it will increment the f p variable okay so after that if i write here print f percent c and ch then definitely it will give me the first character that is h okay and after returning this character it will now be pointing to the next location that will be this one okay after returning the character current character it will increment its position okay now again if i write here let's say lp equals to f tell and pass it file pointer for this file then again if i do print f percent d and i'll write here lp now in this case fp is pointing to this location okay so here ftel is going to return me one so one will be assigned to lp and this will give me output as one okay so the point here is that ftel is going to tell me the current location of the file pointer okay current location of the file pointer and the file is indexed from the zeroth location remember that right now let's open the same file with the append mode okay in the append mode the file pointer places to the at the end of the file okay so currently here it is fp right so now when we are using the ftel function then it is going to return me here 7 okay because the fp pointer is pointing to this location right now and then later on if we do the printf of percent d lp then it will give me output as 7 right now one thing to remember here is that sometime what will happen there will be slash n so in that case when we are opening that file the fp will be pointing to this location okay and in that case it is going to return 8 right so in that case here it will return us 8 so remember that sometime due to slash n you will get the extra value here okay so don't worry about that because there is slash n there okay and if there is no slash n then it will give when we are opening the file with the append mode the file pointer will be here and in that case it will give me output as 7 okay now if i am opening the file with the w mode now in w mode we already know all the pre-existing content will be cleared okay so everything written here will be removed and the file pointer will be placed at the starting of the file okay at the starting means at the zeroth location in that case in the starting fp will give me output as 1 okay f tell read the file pointer where it is located so it will be in the starting right now okay and here it will give me zero right zero 
okay after that if i perform some operation let's say f code c and i write here character a fp so basically i had write a character here so here it is a and then it is going to increase the fp pointer location right so now fp will be pointing to this location okay so this was 0 this was 1 and then if i do again lp equals to f tell fp then in that in this case fp is pointing to first location so it is going to return me here 1 okay and then if i do the print f percent d lp it will give me output as 1 so this is how we use the f tell function which tell us the current location of the file pointer note that the returning value is of long int okay the return type of f tell library function is long int and also all these three functions are defined in the studio.h header file right so we have to include this file to use these functions okay so now let's talk about the rewind function now rewind function is going to take file pointer as an input and it will bring the file pointer to the starting of the file okay no matter where currently it is right now so let's say currently there is also a variable int lp and also char s okay now let's say i read the file content and i'll write here f get c f p right and assign it to s okay so it is going to read the first character of our file and it will increment the fp pointer so fp was previously here now it will be pointing to this location okay so now if i do here f tell so i'll write here lp equals to f tell and i'll write here fp okay then if i do the printf of lp then it will give me output as 1 okay because after reading the character it is going to the next location and currently it is in this location so f tell is going to return me 1 here right similarly let's say i again read another character f get c f p so it is going to return me this character i and it will increment f p pointer okay so f p will currently be here right then again if i use this line l p equals to f tell f p then in this case it is going to return me 2 here okay because currently now f p is in this location right so how can i go back to the starting point for that i will be using rewind function okay so if i write here let's say rewind f p now in this case this f p will now be transferred to the starting of the file okay so again if i write here s equals to f get c f p so just like in this case here it was returning me h now it will return me h why because now it is pointing to the starting of the file okay or instead of this after writing rewinding we can do lp equals to f tell f p okay and then if i do the printf of lp it is going to give me output as zero why because now it is pointing to the first location or we can say zeroth location of the file okay so rewind function basically bring the file pointer to the starting of the file okay or at the zeroth location you can say okay the return type for rewind is void okay so this is how we use the rewind function now let's look at the fseek function now fseek function has the ability to move the file pointer from the starting of the file from the end of the file or from the current position so basically fseek function take three arguments right first of all file pointer then offset for example let's say you want to move from file pointer from the starting of the file okay and you want to move to three so for that you have to increment it one two three so here our out offset will be three okay so here we write the offset right and after that here we have to specify the position for example if you have to move the file pointer from the starting of the file then you have to write here seek underscore set okay and if you want to move or use the offset from the end of the file then you have to write seek end right and if you want to use the offset from the current position of the file pointer in that case you will be writing here seek underscore cur okay c u r or means current so these three position you can set here now let's see example 
to understand the f sig function okay so first of all let's say i'll write here f sig fp and i want to position is third to the third location note that this could be either positive or negative okay negative means backward positive means forward right and i want to go from the starting of the file okay seek set right for starting okay so now fp was previously in this location because i had opened the file in the reading mode okay so fp was pointing to this location now i had written here offset as 3 so 1 2 3 okay so now fp will be pointing to this location okay now after that if i write here let's say s equals to f get c and i'll write here fp then it is going to return me character as v capital v okay why because now fp is pointing to the this location okay now after returning the character v f get c is going to increment the file pointer location so due to the presence of f get c it will be now increment its position and now it will be reaching to this fourth location okay now let's say from here i want to reach to i okay from this location which means the from the current location now to go or to reach to i i have to move backward in one two three okay so three steps i have to move in the backward direction so now what i will do i'll write here f seek then file pointer and i want to move three step backwards and i'll write here seek cur okay so it means that move three steps backward so one two three okay so now fp will be pointing or will be in this location right it will be pointing to this location so if i write here s equals to f get c fp so now in this case it is going to be return the character as i and again it will increment its position okay so we had read the character i here now let's say i want to move the file pointer to the kth location now you can either move from using the seek set method or seek curve position method okay but let's say i want to bring from the end of the file for that i can write here f seek then fp and then from the end of the file you will see that it is in minus one and minus two okay minus one and minus two and let's say this is our end of file okay so i'll write here minus two and then i have to write here seek underscore end right so it will bring file pointer from the end to two backward direction so this is the file ending and one two so now file pointer will reach to this location okay note that if there is slash and exist then you have to write the minus three okay so after that if i do here s equals to f get c file pointer then it will give return me the character as k okay and it will increment the fp pointer location right also note that the return type for f sec is integer okay now there are some points that you have to remember when you are operating the file in append mode or write mode okay and you are moving the file pointer so let's go through that points quickly Let's suppose our abc.txt file has been opened in w mode and on the other hand it is opening in the append mode okay so now first let's talk about the append mode okay so we open the file in append mode and the file pointer will be pointing to this location okay remember i am not assuming there is slash n exist if the slash n is existing then the file pointer will be pointing to this location right so now if i do here let's say f put c and i write here character t and fp then it is going to write the character t here and it will increment the file pointer location right no problem in that now let's say i'll write here f seek and i'll write here fp then 2 and then i'll write here seek set okay so it means that currently the file pointer instead of pointing to this location it will come to this is 0 1 2 okay so from the starting it will jump to two location or let's let me write this 3 okay so 0 1 2 3 okay so 0 1 2 3 and fp will now be pointing to this location right now if i do the f foot c let's say s and fp 
what is going to happen now you may think that it is going to replace this character v character with the s but this is not going to happen instead of that fp is going to jump again at the end of the file and it will write there s okay and then increment the file pointer so remember that when we are appending the file it is not going to modify our existing contents okay so on the contrary let's see here what happens when we open the file in the w mode okay so i open the file abc.txt in the w mode now we already know whenever i am opening the file in w mode everything which is previously existed it is going to clear off okay so everything will be erased from this file let's say i'll write here f put c and i'll write here a and i'll write here fp okay so here it will be written fp when i am going to run this program okay now again let's me write another character f put c and i'll write here b fp after writing another character fp will point to the next location okay so now let's write another character here f put c and i'll write here let's say small s and then fp okay so s will be written here and fp will now point in this location note that this is zeroth location first location and this is second and currently fp is in third location right now let's write this line again f seek fp then instead of 3 i'll write here 1 and then seek set okay from the beginning right and i'll write here f put c s fp right now what is going to happen fp will now jump to the first location from the beginning okay so this is 0 this is 1 now fp will be pointing to this location right now it is written f put c character s fp so now in the append case what was happening the fp was again jumping to the end of the file but here existing content will be overwritten so b will now be replaced with the s okay and f P will now point to the next location right so remember that when you are appending the content note that you cannot overwrite the content or pre-existing content but when you are opening the file in the w mode then you can overwrite or modify the existing content okay so remember that when you are using w mode and append mode okay so this is how we use these functions and we have to remember this point while performing these operations okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video